welcome back, everybody. One of our writers, Karen Chi, is 25 years old. So every now and then, we like to see exactly how much she knows about the past. So it's time once again for a segment we call, What Does Karen Know? Hi, Karen. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I miss you very much. I hope you're feeling healthy and safe. I am. Thank you. I miss you, too. Are you also healthy? I am healthy and I am safe. And I'm very excited to see if you know some of these things from the past that I remember very well, but you might not have any frame of reference for. So I'm going to just throw up the first picture. Karen, do you know who this is? Um, no, but they just look... Are are they famous? They just look like normal people. You'd think, you'd think, but they are, well, I should say for a very brief period of time, they were super famous. What do you think they were famous okay, for? Okay, are they a band? Yes, they are a band. They were famous, they are the people who invented the Rachel, the haircut in the 90s? <laughs> no, no, but, but around the same time, they have one very famous song, and I'm going to give you the beginning of the title. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 They're brothers. Mm -hmm. Would it help if I told you they're brothers? Um, no. Is the title something I would know? It's Mbop. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Karen, you're looking at a band called uh, Hanson, uh, and Hanson uh, were brothers, uh, and they had a song called Mbop. Uh, which very strangely uh, was about, uh, if I remember correctly, sort of lost love, uh, despite the fact that they were all, I don't know, like 12 years old, maybe, and younger. But it was, they were a big deal. All yeah, right, you're all for yeah, one, Karen. too bad. They were so sad, so young. Yeah, I, they seemed very happy in the song, but the lyrics didn't quite match. Anyways, it's an upbeat song, and I think we could all bop our way through this uh, quarantine. All right, moving on, Karen. Here's your next <laughs> photo. Do you know who oh, that is? Oh, God. No. Oh, my God. Like a Halloween figure? That is uh, the is, Crypt is that Keeper. A uh, the Crypt Keeper was the host of a television show, a horror anthology show called Tales from the Crypt uh, that was on HBO, I believe. Okay. And, and you I know what? He had, a, he had a sense of humor, the Crypt Keeper. And uh, he wasn't quite as scary as you thought. He liked a good pun. And all things considered, I think uh, if you could get by his looks, the two of you would probably get along pretty well. Oh, that's a little bit mean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Well, no, I just, it's you very... fully judged a book by its cover and I just expected more <laughs> from your generation. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at it and I was like, I don't want to be friends with that. <laughs> You'd really like him. Here's another uh, historical figure of great note. Do you know who that is? Karen. No, but it looks like he's in trouble. He is on the stand, but this is after the trouble. His name was uh, uh, John Bobbitt. Does that, do you know who that is? No, I don't think so. John he Bobbitt. and his wife had some marital trouble. Um, it's hard to explain. Sometimes when a man and a woman love each other very much and they have a fight. No. <laughs> you know what? I think it's maybe better. Why don't you later just Google the Bobbits? Okay. Is there a murder? <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody, insanely, everybody, uh, everybody's okay. Um, all right, you did oh, fairly well. Cool. Fairly well, Karen. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I know I have photos that I'm going to show you that you haven't seen before. Okay. Um, do you know who this is? I, I don't know who that is. I don't have any. Okay. I mean, it could, I mean, it looks like, uh, you know, like uh, it, it sprung from the artistic tree of Kathy, but that's, uh, that's not who that is. No, I don't know what that, okay, so basically what this is, is um, it's Lizzie McGuire, it's the cartoon version of Lizzie McGuire. Gotcha, and Lizzie McGuire was yeah. played by? Hilary Duff. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right, 0 for 1. No. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Um, solid 0%. Okay, do you know what this is? Well, it's a, it's obviously a baseball video game, um, but uh, it's definitely yes. uh, 
Why, why is it different? Because it does seem like um, a, not a hyper-realistic baseball game. No, it's, it's a perfect game. It's called Backyard Baseball, and it was part of the series called Backyard Sports. Um, and it was a computer game, which, it, and it's like the best game. The character you see right there is called Pablo Sanchez, and he's like the goat. He's so good at every sport, and you always want him on your team. <laughs> <laughs> and what, uh, what computer system would you play on? I think we had like a, this large gray PC. Um, and I always had computer time 30 minutes a week, so I would get to pick which half hour of the week I wanted, and then I would sit down and use the computer. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, I think in quarantine rules, uh, parents are giving their kids a full 30 hours a week. Okay. Um, so we know this actress is Elaine Hendricks, and she's legendary, but do you know what role she's playing? Is that, um, like, from Gossip Girl or something? No, <laughs> it's from the parent trap. Oh, <laughs> so that's the Lindsay Lohan she plays the, Yeah, it's, it's the best parent trap. I've not seen the older one and I don't <laughs> care for it. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, obviously we're trying to find things to watch. I will try very hard uh, to find time for this new parent trap. It's not new anymore. It's very old. It's very yeah, well, good. Well, <laughs> uh, all right. Still, it's not my parent trap. Uh, give it up for Karen Chi, everybody. This has been What Is Karen Know?